Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Brother James Benedict. Greetings in the loving and most comforting name of Jesus Christ. Topic for today's devotion. During the time of grief, we must never quit nor faint, but cling, claim and declare words of assurance from the divine word of God. I know it's difficult, but we need to do that. Psalm 27, 4 and 5 says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Well, for the last one week to ten days, at least seven of my known ones, uh, loved ones rather, went to be with the Lord. Well, I understand what grief is. Grieving can be the most difficult time for people. Trying to balance the feelings of pain and loss is very important. But our grief has a purpose. Grieving is a process God uses to bring us to a place of wholeness. Nothing in life can prepare us for the death of a loved one. Whether death results from a sudden accident or a sustained illness, it always catches us of God. Death is so deeply personal and stunningly final, nothing can emotionally prepare us for its arrival. With every death, there is a loss, and with every loss, there will be grief. Grief does not come and go in an orderly, confined time frame. Just when we think the pangs of anguish have stolen their last breath, another wave sweeps in and we are forced to revisit the memories, the pain, the fear. Sometimes we try to resist the demands of grieving. For in the time of trouble, word of God says, He shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. Psalm 9, 9, 10 says, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you. For you, O Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Psalm 34, 4 says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 73, 26 says, My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever and ever. Yes, Lord, you will never abandon us during our times of grief, but will always provide us with love, hope and support. Lord, we know you will wipe away every tear from our eyes and there shall be no more, there shall be no more death, neither, Lord, shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain, but we have everlasting joy. Lord, may you be the rock, fortress and comfort to all the bereaved families. I know, Lord, you answered my prayer because I pray this in Jesus' marvelous name, Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.